You will not believe the amount of times I get asked if you need a degree to get into cybersecurity, and then I'm asked what degree I have. So, you wanna get into security. It sounds fun, you hear people are making lots of money in it, and there are a ton of jobs. Do you need a degree? No, with an asterisk. But why should you even care what I have to say on this subject? I'm Drew. Outside of helping building internal red teams for some of the Fortune 100 companies, I have my own security firm. But before then, I was a security executive for a company. Before then, I worked as a senior consultant. And before then, I led an exploit development research lab. And I did all this while being a college dropout. So what's up with the asterisks? There are some hiring managers who have not always been in tech and they personally require some of their candidates to have a STEM degree before they consider them. Now those hiring managers are dying off or retiring, but there are a ton of companies that don't require degrees or any formal training. And these companies are paying great salaries and these companies are like household names, right? They're huge companies. So you can 100% get a job in cybersecurity with zero formal training. Now this doesn't mean you have no training or no skills. What this does mean is that you didn't go to like junior college or university to acquire your knowledge and skill set. Before we get into what you do need though, make sure you boop that like button, subscribe and hit the notification bell. So you can be notified of other great videos of ours that are here to help you on your security journey. So if you don't need a degree, what do you need? As a beginner, you need two things. The first thing is you need not to suck. And the second thing is you don't need to be a dick. Let's cover the first one not sucking. What do I mean by that? You have to have some skill. And for some jobs like a level one sock analyst, you don't even need a lot of skills. Now that doesn't mean you can be anyone off the street, but you also don't need to be finding like exploits and cellular backends. As long as you can stay motivated, don't mind getting your hands on the keyboard and stay off social media long enough to grind for a few hours each day and post some useful scripts that you wrote during your you know, learning process on GitHub, in about four to six months, you can learn the basics you need to know to land that level one SOC analyst job. But your security journey is not even close to being done. In fact, once you get your first security job, your long nights are just starting. Let me get this out of the way right now. If you are joining security purely for the great paycheck, and you just wanna work a straight nine to five, like don't get into it, right? We have enough mediocre people in security. We don't need more. I said it, I know. Am I saying you have to spend 100 hours working and learning every week? No, though that might be a good thing if you're doing that and you're just starting off. But what I am saying is you need to spend 40 hours working and then you need to spend 40 hours learning for a total of 80 hours a week once you land your first security job, because you are still so far behind, you don't wanna get comfortable. And how do you know if you're getting comfortable in a job early in your career? I'll break that down in another video, uh, because I don't wanna get sidetracked side too much, and that's kinda out of the scope for the video. So let me give you an example of someone sucking, right? There was this level one SOC engineer I knew. His company that he worked for had been breached. And during the investigation, it was found that he did see an alert pop up on his dashboard. Saw that it was something targeting some server owned by HR. It was sending traffic to China, a country their company has zero servers in and marked it as a false positive because he thought the traffic looked okay to him. The traffic did not look okay. And then he closed the ticket. The company didn't know they were breached for months until the FBI reached out to them. This person did not dig into anything. They just didn't care. Now let's talk about not being a dick. This goes more uh, with the engineers, red teamers and pen testers, sorry to call you out, but their egos can get super inflated and that can get in the way quickly. It can get in the way of themselves from doing their own job correctly, but even worse, it can get in the way of others when they're trying to do their job. You, you may be God's gift to the security community, but no one really gives a damn about your greatness. If you get into someone else's way when it comes to them conducting their own job that they are doing securely and correctly. 
Am I saying have no ego? No, I'm saying manage your ego and know that no matter how badass you are, there is always someone way more badass than you. You just don't know them yet. If you are a consultant, be a professional. If you're an internal team member, be a team player. Right? I, I joke with people who ask what I do, and I say, I herd cats and I manage egos. Because if you work with very highly skilled hackers, you will know our heads are inflated. You just have to make sure you pull in your own ego while you're conducting your everyday business. Now, an unmanaged ego will also prevent you from learning. If you think you have been there, done that and seen it all, you will not learn. And if you are not learning consistently in this field, your usefulness will be short lived. And I've seen this type of person as well. They thought they had seen it all and would argue with anyone who did not treat everything they said as gospel truth. This person cost their employer a ton of money because their failures in focusing on what was important to the business. And they also just dismissed the concerns of any young engineers they spoke to. They never could change and they would always make other people's life a living hell in both work and online. Now, I don't know where this person is now. I just know that they're not in the field of security anymore. So do you need a degree to get in a job in cybersecurity? Hell no. You don't even need one to be a security executive like a CISO or CSO. You do need other skills outside of pure technical skills before you can become a security executive, right? And maybe I'll cover that in a different video. In fact, comment below to let us know what videos you wanna see in the future. Hey, are you still here? If you wanna see more great content like this, make sure you boop that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Also, share this video on social media with your friends. As always, stay safe and happy hacking.